Well, you guys got another video. Can we bypass the reforced Microsoft account on Windows 11 Home uh, version 25H2? This hasn't been released to the general public yet, but I do want to test it on this system. So I'm installing this onto a virtual machine. And what I want to do is to see whether the uh, bypass still works on this version of Windows. Now, Microsoft are really trying hard to enforce you to use a Microsoft account. A lot of people still want the option to use a local account and they're making it more and more difficult. And I wonder if they've just made changes on this system. So we're at this screen right here and I'm pushing Shift F10 and it's not working. It's not opening up the actual uh, command prompt window. Now, remember, if you're on a laptop, you need to use Shift FN F10 to open up the command prompt window. You can see we're not connected to the internet here and I don't know whether this is a bug or something that Microsoft are working on for 25H2 to stop you opening up the command prompt window. I really don't know. But at the moment I am clicking Shift F10. I'm clicking on the actual virtual machine itself and it is not opening up the command prompt window. So what does this mean for you? It means if you can't open up the command prompt window, you won't be able to type in this command, which is going to allow you to use a local account. Now this is Windows 11 uh, 25H2 Home Edition. I will try the Pro Edition as well. So just to make sure. Now I'm not sure if this is a bug or something like that, or whether it's an issue with the ISO file or something like that. I really don't know. We'll have to have a look at it a little bit later on uh, down the line when I can get my hands on an official uh, Windows 11 25 H2 ISO. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to close this off and we will try it on Windows 11 25 H2 Pro Edition to see whether it allows us there. Now, what I've done here is I'm turning the internet on and off, connecting and disconnecting it to see whether that makes any difference. So now I've clicked on it, you can see it's saying I am now connected uh, to the internet and I still can't get the Shift F10 to open up the command prompt window. It's not working whatsoever. So I'm hoping this isn't the case because if this is, it's going to be very difficult, if not impossible, to be able to bypass and use a local account. You will be forced to use a Microsoft account at this stage. And if you disconnect from the internet, you can see here, it's not letting you continue by clicking next. And if we connect it, we still can't do anything. If we click next here and just carry on with the installation, on the home edition that is, you're not gonna be able to use uh, even the domain uh, part with the home edition. So it's gonna really make it difficult if this is a new enforcement that Microsoft are enforcing on Windows 11 25 H2. Um, but we'll just have to wait and see a little bit later on uh, whether that is the case or whether this is just some form of bug. But I'll continue along here because I just want to see whether it gives me the error code and tells me that the internet has been disconnected because what I've done now is I've disconnected it during this stage right here to see whether that makes a difference and it will probably kick up an error and kick me back uh, to the actual start of the creation of a user account so i'm just going to skip this for now and i've still got it disconnected so i connected it to continue and then i disconnected it uh during this stage so it's checking for updates and then it says oops your connection has been lost and now we have to retry and it won't let you continue so you can't continue at this stage you will need to uh obviously go back and start again and put in your uh, username and account details for a microsoft account if they enforce this where you can't open up the shift F10 to open up a command prompt window. I'm hoping that that is not the case. So you now have connected again and we're at this stage. So for Windows Home users, you would have to stay connected and then you would have to click next here. And once you click next, it's going to ask you for your actual email address. Now there's no bypass at this stage. I've tried other email addresses. It's not working and you've also got face fingerprint or pin you can use that method and your uh, actual email but that will be connected to a microsoft account and you won't be able to use any form of uh, you know local account at this stage now let me full shut down uh, the installation here and i'll reinstall 
uh, Windows 11 25H2 Pro Edition to see whether there's any difference on the Pro Edition. So I'm going to full shut down this virtual machine here and power it off and then power it on again and reinstall as Windows 11 25H2 Pro Edition. So I'm going to go ahead and set this up and we will now get back to that location. So I'll speed this process up here and go through the motions here. And what we'll do is we'll try to see if Shift F10 works again. If it doesn't work, then it looks like Microsoft are trying to find a way to block you opening up the command prompt. So let's get back to this part here. Now I'm clicking Shift F10 right here on the keyboard and it's not working. It's not opening uh, for me. So I'm actually clicking on the actual machine itself, as you can see, and it's still not working. It's not letting me uh, open up the command prompt window. We are not connected to the internet. So that bypass method that we used to use, if this is enforced, you will not be able to use it and you are pretty much done for. You will be forced to sign in with a Microsoft account and there's not a lot you can do about it. So that means at least at this stage, you will be signing into an account if they enforce this measure. Now, again, I, I do say that this could be a bug with the actual build because this is still in uh, early release. So it could be a bug or it could be thinking that I'm on a laptop and you have to use Shift FN F10 and that's why it's not opening. I'm not too sure. We'll have to wait and see. But what I'll do here is I'm connected and disconnected. I've tried everything and it's not working. Now, if you do have the Pro Edition, you can set up for work or school and then select domain and it will allow you to go into a local account. You really shouldn't set this up as a domain, uh, joining a domain like that. Really, it's not the right way to do it. But again, uh, that is the only way you're going to be able to use a local account if they enforce uh, that policy where you won't be able to open up the command prompt. So I'm going to full shut the virtual machine down again, and we're now going to reboot the system and we will try one more time. So what we'll do is we'll skip here and we'll get to the part. I'll quickly skip and get to the part where I can push shift F10. So I want to test one more time from here. Now I'm clicking on the actual thing. And now the strange thing is it works. So I don't know whether it's because I'm on a virtual machine and I full shut down the system and it's messed up uh, the sequence somehow. I really don't know because let's see whether this command still works inside a virtual machine on Windows 11 25H2 on Windows Pro Edition. And you can see we are now allowed to open up the Microsoft account and create a local account. So let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below, whether you think this is a bug or whether Microsoft are trying to stop you opening up the command prompt window and by full shutting down the system the way I did there on this virtual machine, it actually uh, broke something or allowed me to open up the uh, command prompt window because I did try it twice on Windows, uh, Windows 11 Home Edition and Windows 11 Pro Edition and it blocked me both times on both of those and they were both fresh installs and it wouldn't let me open up the command prompt window until I full shut it down one more time there for the third time. And then I got to this stage and then it allowed me to open up the command prompt window. Let me know what you guys think. Are they going to block the shift F10 command to stop you opening up the command prompt window and make you use a Microsoft account? Because I think that would be it. I don't think you'd be able to bypass it anymore if they enforce that. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Remember, this is an early release of Windows and things can change and this may just be a bug or something like that. So we we'll just have to wait and see for the full release whether they actually officially do block it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the next video or I'll see you on the Discord server. The link is in the video description. Bye for now.